one thing is uh, Dvorak wrote this particular piece uh, after visiting this country, and he was so impressed with with the new world that he composed this piece, and that in itself uh, uh, kind of hits home some, as you might say. Uh, now Dvorak is a master of writing melodies, uh, and he's very dynamic with uh, with dynamics. Uh, uh, it's uh, very soft passages, very loud passages, and uh, really just creates excitement in itself. The Virginia's, Virginia Band and Orchestra Director Association uh, select and grade certain pieces of music, starting from grade one, which is the simplest written music for bands, to grade six, which is the most difficult. This particular one was rated a grade six in the Virginia Manual, which is the most difficult written. So um, that in itself is a challenge to any group. The uh, piece is probably geared toward a college level with advanced depth in each section. But uh, we enjoyed the piece so much, we decided to go ahead and, and give it a try. Right.
rehearsal, rehearsal schedule basically was each section had one sectional a week. Uh, the students often call extra sessions. And uh, of course, the full group at night, uh, which uh, I guess for four weeks, uh, Tuesdays and Thursday nights each week. Uh, we uh, sight read the piece in November and then uh, set it back. The weather got, got to us. <clears throat> and we pass it back out, oh, I'd say uh, six, seven weeks before the concert. Then we decided to play it. The main thing we had with the piece was the, the range of the soprano clarinets. Uh, of course, when you get in the top registers, you have intonation problems and control problems. And uh, uh, it's, even though the transcription was lowered, uh, it still put the soprano clarinets in a very, very uh, high register. Uh, and a lot of work was put forth into to trying to help this. But uh, the, the low brass, uh, fortunate enough to have a, a fairly good bass section and, and trombones, and trumpets are not really taxed as much as the soprano clarinets. And the low reeds, who are doubling the cello parts and so forth, are again taxed uh, technically. Uh, and uh, for for a high school band, really, it's it's quite uh, the whole the whole piece is quite challenging. <laughs> show you. And it's a wire band. So you might stink whatever he does. Again? Ready? Go. teaching J.J. Kelly in 1965, which is 12 years ago this year. Uh, in 73, I left and went to Radford High School where I was working on my master's degree and returned in 74. So all in all, I've been here the better part of 12 years, 11 years. 12 years ago, we had uh, nine to 13 students here. Now we have well over 200 in the program. 
12 years ago we were playing in basically grade one, two, sometimes three. Uh, with the senior high level, we seldom ever go below grade four. Uh, junior high is from three to four. Even the, uh, the elementary school is up in two, three, and embarking a little on four. So you really change uh, from the high school level, grade three, down to the elementary level, grade three and four. So we, we raised it uh, quite, quite a bit. In the marching group, we've compiled about 50 to 60 Division I awards. Uh, which includes the Chihai Alpha Festival. We have seven straight superiors. Uh, we have six uh, consecutive Division ones at Bristol. Up until this year, we got the two this year. Uh, Concert-wise, we've had several uh, excellent superior ratings over the past 12 years. Quite, quite funny, uh, a lot of people think that we don't do anything after Martian season. <laughs> and comments quite often say, well, Martian season over, you're and not, don't have to do anything the rest of the year. And really, it's uh, much more time consuming in the concert season. Uh, day and night, every day. That's like that old people. That's all the food. Oh, man. Where? This. See that? This thing? That's the. I didn't know that. Behind. When you're working with a community of, uh, of uh, less cultural music ability, possibly overall, it is uh, definitely a goal to raise the level of the audience uh, while, while educating the students also. And it's for this remote region of the country to hear a, a part of a symphony played is unique in itself. But uh, I feel their main, my main objective should be to, to teach the students to be a top-notch performer and to provide challenging literature for, for them to play the finale or attempt it uh, shows at least uh, a great uplifting of ability and understanding. 
the best possible job they can do is, is all you can demand from anyone. <clears throat> if you're an educator, you first of all have to thank the students. Uh, I guess the reward is not financial, but it's knowing that you have students that will go out after high school with a greater appreciation of, of music in general and, and their, their background as a performer in a top-notch group that plays uh, the high-quality music. <laughs>
feel that the group uh, really dedicated themselves, as they normally do, into this piece. I don't think at this point the students would accept themselves a, uh, a lower grade, lesser quality, which uh, I feel is makes it worthwhile.